Hello guys and welcome to this new video. So today I'm bringing you some bad news but also some good news. Um, the good news is that yesterday I got to go into the CCR or the Concord Room at London Heathrow. Now this lounge is renowned for being one of the best lounges at Heathrow. And as you know I went to the Virgin Atlantic Lounge um, last year, the Clubhouse in Terminal 3, and that was amazing. What I'm excited to do now is to compare the CCR with the Virgin Atlantic flagship lounge here at Heathrow and see which one is better. Now, that is the good news, but the bad news is um, I got a new microphone about a week ago, this one here. And while I've got it to work now, yesterday it didn't work at all. So I have no sound footage from the whole day. Now, while this is mega, mega annoying because I had some amazing footage, including um, I interviewed the lounge manager. He showed me around outside. He had this microphone on with no sound footage recorded. It's not going to be a major issue because for this video, I'm going to do voiceover. So without further ado, let me take you into the Concord room and show you around. The first perk of travelling with a Gold Guest List member is that you're entitled to a free upgrade on the Heathrow Express. The business first carriage is very slick and a perfect way of travelling to Heathrow. Secondly, you're allowed to use this amazing first class check-in area at T5. The area is located at the far end of the terminal and is very quiet. It took about two minutes to get through security, which I was told was very, very busy. What makes the first check-in area so special is that you walk straight through this corridor into the first lounge. I'd never been to this lounge before, and to me, it looked like an upgraded version of the gallery's lounges for club passengers. Seeing as we were here for the Concord Room, however, we walked straight out of the first lounge, across the hall, and into the famous Concord Room. Walking into the lounge, I was amazed at how classy and slick it felt. It was almost completely empty, and we were personally welcomed by the staff, who knew Paul by name. Mo, the lounge manager, was there as soon as we entered. He walked us to our seats, and poured us two glasses of Laurent Perrier Vintage Champagne. The champagne retails at £110 per bottle, and you could sure sense that in the taste. As you can see in this clip, the lounge is extremely spacious and felt so classy when you were walking through it. Seeing as Mo was so knowledgeable, I hooked him up to the mic to show you guys the outside terrace. It is such a shame about the audio failure because he spoke in such a fantastic manner. Firstly, he showed me how the terrace is perfectly placed for watching planes with both runways in sight. Secondly, he showed me the private areas outside which feature Moroccan style furniture. Mo's welcoming manner and exceptional customer service was one of my favourite things about the lounge. I never got to say goodbye to him, so if you're watching this, thank you so much for you and your team's incredible service. Next up, I was walked to the private cabanas. The lounge has four cabanas, which can be booked for up to four hours. This is perfect if you have a long layover in the Concord room. The cabanas feature a sofa bed for relaxing on, a small table where you can eat food which is directly delivered to you, a bathroom with a shower, sink and toilet, and a large TV. After the short tour by Mo, we were asked what food we wanted for breakfast. Paul opted for the sausage sandwich which looked lovely. But seeing as I was reviewing this lounge, I decided to see how their full English breakfast tasted. The presentation was lovely, and the taste didn't disappoint either. In front of you on the table are two menus. The larger menu showed dining options such as a full English, and the smaller menu showed the lounge breakfast options available such as croissants and cereal. When one of the staff members saw me filming the menus, he immediately asked if we wanted to see the lunch menu. We said yes and he ended up bringing all of the menus in the lounge and talking us through each one. In conclusion, the food and drink options were amazing. Here, you can see him talking us through the cocktail menu. 
After talking us through the menus, he asked whether we would like some snacks. And when I paused in answering, he said he'd bring a selection of his favourites for us to try. They arrived shortly after and tasted fantastic. My personal favourite was the stuffed red peppers. The snacks were accompanied by yet another glass of Laurent Perrier champagne. Before heading down to the gate, Paul said he had one small surprise for me and asked the lounge staff to bring us two of his favourite drink. I had no idea what they would bring for me, but when I saw what was coming, I was over the moon. We were brought two espresso martinis to kick off the day, which tasted absolutely spectacular. So, after briefly showing you around the Concorde room, what did I think? Firstly, I think it's important to remember that this lounge is a luxury room for the elites of British Airways and first class passengers. The Concorde room is notoriously hard to gain access to, which gives it that elite feel that it's known for. The food options were good, but no better than lounges such as the Clubhouse in Terminal 3. And what I think really gave it that luxurious feel um, were the staff. The team were unbelievably helpful and welcoming, which really made the lounge fantastic. The moment you walked in, you felt very welcomed. The outside terrace was colourful, comfortable, and the cabanas. I mean, even if they looked slightly outdated, they're a lovely place to relax and sleep if you had a long layover in there. So, which lounge did I prefer, the clubhouse or the Concord room? I think the two lounges, firstly, I think they cater to different markets. Um, for starters, the Concord room is no business class lounge. Um, the clubhouse is. It's for upper class, business class passengers on Virgin Atlantic. And although the food and drink may be similar, uh, I didn't see a huge difference between the two. I found the clubhouse more of a fun, bubbly lounge. You know, it has a pool table. It has an outdoor garden where you can go and watch the planes. But in terms of luxury, the clubhouse comes no way near the Concord room. Um, when you walk in the Concord room, you feel like you're gonna be looked after. You feel like you're in a very, very, very luxurious elite room, which you are. The Concord room is exactly that. The clubhouse, on the other hand, much more of a fun, loud, business class lounge. So if you wanna go for Virgin Atlantic, you will get that very cheeky side of Virgin, which I love. But if you're going for that British Airways first class lounge, it is very classy and it is a lot of fun to be inside. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm so sorry I had to do a voiceover, but actually I think it went quite well and I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments. See if you like voiceover, see if you'd like to see it in future videos. If you like this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends and definitely subscribe because I've got lots of cool stuff coming on the way. I'll see you all next time and thank you very much for watching.